Oa. Oa. Right. Oh wow. Now I know by now y'all done seen this. Charleston White, yeah. Um, yeah. Fiasco. When he on stage. Now I ain't gonna lie, I had to find out. Well, I still ain't found out, y'all. He might just be getting better at his pranks. Cause when he did that last thing about the barbershop thing, yeah, it kind of pissed me off, man, for me to have to, you know, blog on that, deceive my people, and then he come back the next day talking about, ha, 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 you thought they got me. So I just didn't drop the day. Plus, I was going to take Sunday off anyway, if you can understand. Not for no religious reasons, just that I just get burned out on this stuff. And it seems like in the month of December, YouTube will let you go up like you're supposed to. Like, why you ain't recommend none of my videos yet? But that's another story. That's the beef between me and the partnership. But, um, yeah, I'm not showing my face today. I'm just going to talk about it because, um, yeah, I'm late because. Let's put it like that. Um, yeah, I just felt like the thing he did last time was bull job. I had to kind of watch the video some more. And I'm still not really sure. But I see everybody posting it. And I owe it to my subscribers to let them know what's going on. That's why I'm so late, y'all. But thank y'all for rocking with Super Cool. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I do this for y'all. I appreciate all the love. Shouts out the blessings. She always show love. Um, send me uh, money and stuff, you know, for the content that I bring, you know, and I appreciate that, you know. A lot of people don't do that, and I'm not asking for nothing, but I definitely appreciate it, and I see you. Shouts out to you. But at the end of the day, I just didn't know if this was real or not, so I held back, but... Charleston White definitely was on stage in um at a comedy show, and he picked up some roses. So in my mind, I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking in my mind. In my mind, I'm thinking I never seen a comedy set with just roses sitting up there that's light like that in front with some balls. So it just looked like a whole setup thing to me. And when he hit him with the roses, like the dirt just kind of hit him and not the not the vase. So I watched that too. Then how Dewberry got off stage and then got back up. Dewberry's the big guy, his homie, who rocked with him. Um, it just looked it false, like he was backing up. But Dewberry claimed, I got that video too, that he was just trying to see the scenery or whatever like that. And um, yeah, when he hit him with the mic, if you, I look close and it don't really like it hit him like that. And I seen what a microphone do, as far as with 50 Cent hitting that girl in the face off the stage so i know it would have did some damage not saying i seen buddy but he got too quick you know we ain't seen i ain't seen him i ain't see how his face look but it just looked it falsified to me so i just want to just sit back you know analyze it and like i said i'm still not sure but yeah that's what everybody's saying charleston white handled his business he didn't take a l and yeah he stood on all 10 and then like the back end money didn't match the crowd to me <laughs> you know what i mean let's but he lost that night or something. But the back end money was real thick for that crowd. What a piece of the crowd they showed. So I'm like, hold up, this is kind of crazy. And I don't care. Like, goons, real goons. Maybe he wasn't a real goon. But the goal is, yeah, beat your ass. But, you know, they're going to get that money if you fell that way. Unless you had a tight grip on it. But you say you lost it. You scrambled and got it. And that's what it is. Yeah, so um, also, like, him not being scarred, which I'm going to show you all the video of that. I'm going to show you all the video of the situation first. And I'm going to show you him the next day, unscarred really like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you Dewberry as well, saying his piece. And we're just going to end it right there. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, I just gave you the reasons why I didn't post it and what I'm still looking at. Like, i never seen nobody at the comedy show just with roses up there. It wasn't a setting for it, in my opinion. You know, just have a vase full of roses up there you know and how he threw it like if you look how he threw it it looked like the dirt but maybe he just had a bad throw and maybe the microphone ain't hit him as accurate as the 150 cent through yeah from 100 feet away on the stage you know but um yeah and the tackle that's the only thing that looked real but um you know i just thought it was a play and still not sure the tackle looked real now and charles might give him oh uh, yeah props for that tackle he said that boy should have been a linebacker or something but <laughs> yeah but um, here it is, you guys. Hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. And um, I'm going to let y'all know to use y'all mind and think like I'm thinking too. Not taking nothing from Charleston. He's still on his ground now. It's real now. Don't get it twisted. He's still on his grounds and things of that nature. But yeah, it just seemed like it should have been more security and things of that nature as well. And I'm not just talking about Charleston white security. I'm talking about the security in the club. And uh, Dewberry said them two guys with the white hoodies on, they was actually went through the party. You know, and things, yeah, I just don't know, y'all. 
I'm not really convinced, but you know, I heard uh, King Ace K said he kind of feels some type of way too. But it's like you know, with X, like he had a thing he was shooting to do, but that's really from the Atlanta series they got going on. And everybody talking about shot some white, shot somebody. He talking about how he talked about him on the internet and ran up on him and bam, bam, bam. You know, I'm just just tired of pushing false narratives. I like the Charleston White when he basically, you know, talked that real ish. But it's not all about my opinion. It's about what y'all want to see. And that's my duty for my subscribers to keep y'all informed of what's going on. I'm not showing sure this one. It's like a 50-50. Well, maybe I'm kind of thinking it may have been something now since everybody pushing their agenda. So, you know, it's only right for me to show it. But tell y'all why I took so long. But you guys use your mind and think the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah. Also, you know, don't get too caught up in this media type stuff. Yes, if you want to know about it, come to my page. Yeah. Matter of fact, do this. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit that notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, wow. Now that y'all did the right thing, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. I'm bringing y'all it off the press. Charleston White, first we're going to have Charleston White uh, getting in the altercation. Then we're going to have Charleston White the next day. Then we're going to have Dewberry. That's why the video is so long. Y'all make sure y'all tell y'all friends and family about me. Yeah, hit that like button. It ain't going to hurt your finger. And I'm going out hard the same way I came in. Oh, uh. All right. I already got the back here. Hey, I'm right. down by getting booed. I already got the back here. I don't give a damn about getting booed, nigga. I don't already got paid. You paid to see me, nigga. You paid to see me. Lakers, Jazz, and Warren ass, nigga. Pull out some money, though. Pull out some money, though. Pull out some money, though, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Pull out some money. Pull up. I hit you with your goddamn head, nigga. Pull out some money, nigga. I, I hit you with your goddamn head. The nigga just did a good tackle. I give that nigga credit. That nigga need to get credit for that motherfucking sack. A black eye. We still looking for them black eyes. Ah, they thought I got beat up. Dubair, they thought I, they mad. They just say, listen, they done got their feelings hurt again, Dubair. They done got their feelings hurt again. They thought I got beat up. Boy, they was celebrating. So ah, they said, I got a chain took. They said, hey, man, wait till, wait till in the morning. Boy, they was celebrating. They said, I don't need no security. Fuck, I need security for, for this two-time brother needs security. <laughs> Say, for this two-time brother needs security. We don't need no motherfucking security. <laughs> that nigga had say finesse two time brother got jumped. That nigga had knots on his head immediately after the jumping. <laughs> he been holl he hollered all day long with them knots on his head. He had them mag them might knots. <laughs> finesse two time brother had them might knots on his head. <laughs> we <laughs> 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 what a beautiful day. <laughs> what a beautiful motherfucking day. The chili out there, what? I just wanted to stand in front of the sunlight to let them niggas see. Nigga, I'm untouched, I'm unscathed, and I'm undefeated. We win again. <laughs> the internet mad at the motherfucker. The internet mad at the motherfucker, they can't beat me. See, boy, the internet mad at the motherfucker, they can't beat me. I'm talking about they are furious that they can't beat me. Cut the lights off. The internet is mad at the motherfucker. <laughs> they say they wait till in the morning, y'all. They say they let his ass go to bed tonight. See, his ass gonna get wait till in the morning. He gonna have lumps. And knots on his head. Y'all just wait. And I said, okay, okay, just wait. <laughs> Say, I told him, nigga, just wait in the morning. Just wait. 
I'm telling nigga, I know how to weed punch it. Put a nigga out move at all. And a nigga had a nigga come running out of nowhere. Like Adam Sandler on Waterboy. And boom! Hey, nigga! <laughs> That nigga delivered a mean tackle. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. They need to give that nigga credit for whatever last football he team he played for. That nigga need credit for that motherfucker sack. That nigga did a hell of a motherfucker sack. They just knew I was gonna wake up this morning. They just knew I got tackled. I got on the ground. I went to getting done like niggas do when they get done on the ground. Kicked in the head. Kicked in the mouth. Punched on some more. They just knew that it happened. They thought that nigga who ran over there to try to swing, they didn't know Dewberry knocked it. Pow! <laughs> say, and them nigga went to say, <laughs> Tim nigga went to try to wrestle a nigga. Nigga, I don't want to play football. Where my goddamn money go? I just dropped my back end money. And what nobody think about the back end but me. I'm the only nigga at the bottom of the pile thinking about recover the fumble. Get the fumble. Just fall on the ball. <laughs> they thought I got beat up. They thought I got beat up. They thought I got an ass kicking. Oh, they were jumping. They finally got him. They finally got him. Oh, when he wake up in the morning, he going to look like Willie Lump Lump. He might, no, he going to look like Finesse Two-Time Brother. Boy, I would have hated to be on this motherfucker looking like Finesse Two-Time Brother explaining this situation. <laughs> Say, I'm not bullshit. <laughs> Say, boy, I would hate to be knots don't go down overnight. I've been online since this motherfucking uh, attack happened. And boy, I ain't got a cut. I ain't got a brood. I ain't got a cut. I ain't got a brood. Charleston White wins again. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Say, they want me to lose so bad, I can't lose. Yeah, they want me to lose so goddamn bad. Now go the phone ringing. Here come the nosy motherfucker calling. Y'all right? Here come the nosy motherfucker calling. Y'all right? Oh, that's just... Say, what's up, nigga? No, nigga, I'm already online. This morning saying, nanny, nanny, boo, boo, look at me. <laughs> I'm being messy already. <laughs> I'm being messy already. <laughs> Early the goddamn boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nanny, nah, nanny. Nah, nah. All right, I'm real. Nanny, nah, nanny, nah, boo, boo. Ah. <laughs> they thought I got beat up. They were rubbing their hand together like Birdman on cash money. They said somebody got him. <laughs> somebody said they got him. Oh, somebody said, why you are red? Because I smoke marijuana and don't only one of them get red. <laughs> the glass I can't get red. <laughs> ah, you pressing charges to get tackled? You think I'm going to press charges on a nigga for tackling me? <laughs> I won. Yeah, I won, nigga. What <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> God. He say that for me. I won, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that goddamn money come handy. <laughs> this nigga did that. Say, stop him from getting the money. <laughs> I make this shit look easy. But believe me, this shit ain't easy. I just make it look like I can't get touched. I make it look like if a nigga swing at me. Man, they can't hurt that boy. Look at him. So I want y'all to screenshot, screen record, and go say, okay, Finesse two-time brother had a knot right here. He had a knot right here. Charleston don't even have a scratch on him. <laughs> That's your last back end. I got another one to pick up on the 16th. I got another one to do on the 23rd. Uh, I got another one on the 29th. Uh, then I got a three more. I got a $30,000 comedy show weekend on Martin Luther King weekend. So, no, it's not the last, baby. It's just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, come on up in here, man. Y'all boys, come on up in here, man. Come on up in here, man. Y'all boys, come on up in here. Oh, um, everybody's talking about, oh, man, they finally got them. They fat. Come on, man. Stop it. What do you mean by that? Huh? Huh? 
Y'all come on in. Oh, and then, get what these boys saying. So, man, do rain. Do this, do that, do the root. All right. Come on in. And we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. That's why I keep telling y'all. Hey, man, listen. Everything is overstood. Everything is overstood, homie. Just remember I told y'all that. Now, I know a lot of y'all sitting around and y'all want to see the minor sign. Y'all ain't gonna never see it, homie. Y'all want to sit around and say, oh man, this is... But it seemed like uh, y'all ain't gonna never get it. Y'all ain't gonna never get it, homie. I know y'all sitting around trying to hope this here and hope that. Y'all ain't gonna never get it. Just always remember, when we step in the building, we step in the building and we always doing what we do. All right? And can't nobody stop that. We gonna go get the front end and we going to go get the back end. I want y'all to remember that. So listen, let me just say this. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown on what everybody's talking about happening. First of all, let's get something understood. You only had one individual that was doing all the talking. He was doing all the talking. The whole time while he's talking, I'm in the back. I'm in the back. When I come up, I look, I see that they done got real heated. So what I do is, I go in the front of the stage, I grab Charleston arm and told Charleston, bro, chill. I jump off the stage to tell them, say, man, y'all gotta chill out with all that, homie. Soon as I jump off the stage to say that, they done came, they done ran to the stage. And once they do that, Charleston, did what he's supposed to do. Charge him, pack up, across the head, pack up. Now, everybody rushing towards the stage. They jump, everybody jumping on the stage. Now remember, I was just jumped, I just jumped off the stage by myself, no security, no nothing. I jumped back on the stage. When I get back on the stage, guess what? He trying to get on stage. Now, we bagging up. Cause it's me, and, it's just me and Charleston right now. So we bagging up. But I'm watching him, I'm watching old boy that's trying to get up. So my mind focus is, okay. This is the idea. We finna, you know, we finna work out. But now everybody's starting to come on the stage. So now you don't know who is who. So when I'm looking, I see a dude pass, a dude, some dude that was with him, run by. He don't run by, do no swanking. He come by and ran and grabbed Charleston. But when he run by and grabbed Charleston, I'm like, guess what happened? He right there, he fall. I catch him. Boom, boom. When I catch him, now y'all see the guys with the white hats on? They the promoters. When I catch him, the dude with the white hat on grab him and put him in a headlock, choking him. I go back now when I'm choking him, don't ain't nobody hitting Charleston or nothing because they got Charleston. They like now nah, chill, chill. Everybody around Charleston. Now the other dude, him. Well, he, now they had they had him at first. Somehow he done got somehow he done got kind of loose. He trying to swing around somebody. Do now my bro done grabbed him by his by the jersey. They got him. 
I'm going to the back to let these people know, hey, say, man. We got we got to we, we staying ready too. So I'm like, hey man, come on, man. Cause we don't know. We they ain't they ain't pat nobody down, they ain't shush nobody. So we we ready too. But now when we come when, when we come back out there, guess what? Nigga does the police right there and everything. Listen to the police and everything. So ain't nobody laying one lick. The nobody laying. I'm the only person that laying the lick. I'm the only person that land the licks. I'm the only person. All right? Now, first of all, they weren't even square business. They weren't even square business. So everybody's like, oh, man. Say, man, do, do ran. Man, stop playing, son. Stop playing, son. Why did I jump off the stage if I'm gonna do any kind of running? Then another thing, oh, they finally got him. They finally got him hot. They found, how did they get him? Tell me, how did they get him when his gear is still up? Money? Didn't get touched one time. Did not get touched one time. Did not get touched one time. Not one time did he get touched anywhere. Come on, man. So what I'm saying is, how did they win? The only thing they did was mess up these folks' event. That's all they did. All they did will mess up them folks' event. And guess what? We left with the front and the back end without no scratches, without no nothing. Without nothing. Now, go dissect the video. Go dissect the video. <laughs> Another victory. So y'all stay y'all stay up and take care of them. Realize, say man, we gonna keep winning, man. I know a lot of y'all, uh, man, everything is about likes and everybody's about views. So keep getting views. You get what I'm saying? See a lot of people try to figure out, oh man, but when they come on, homie. Don't figure that. It's easy to figure out. It's easy to figure out. And guess what? We made it out of them without a scratch or nothing. Without even a scratch. So with that being said, y'all stay tuned. My better dragon said, send some cash out so he eat good like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign. I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the bearded dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> Wow!